6年間育ててきた息子は他人の子供でした何が何なんか流星ですケイタですお子さんの将来を考えたら交換という選択肢は良いと思います二人ともこっちに譲ってくれませんか失礼よちょっと何よお金ならまとまった額用意できますか6年間はパパだったんだよ出来損ないだけどパパだったんだよそして父になる The conflict between class and parenthood in modern Japanese family. My name is Crystal Du. My name is Mariana Silva Gomez. The traditional concepts of parenthood in the Japanese social and cultural context have significantly changed over time since World War II. Historically, a father's role in a Japanese family was disciplinarian. Authoritative master and a breadwinner. For over 10 decades of civilization, the traditional Japanese family has evolved through periods of assimilation and seclusion to cultivate a responsible society and influence the rest of the world. The striking change of parenthood from the traditional Japanese family to the modern family began to change post World War II. The article r e s i g n i f y i n g the Japanese father. Mediatization, commodification, and dialect mentions the parenting style of post war Japan by saying the parenting style of the Japanese father is stereotypically defined by post war Japanese family values, which include being the breadwinner and family lead. This style of fatherhood requires a company job that allows for a stable income. This kind of career means that he is rarely home to spend time with his family. In short, he's an absent father who provides for his children materially. Japanese society appeared to be thriving and stable in the 1980s. However, with the increasing technological, social, and economic progress in modern Japan, social classes have emerged, impacting the Japanese family system. The concept of parenthood has taken center stage in the Japanese contemporary film industry, with film directors using various forms and techniques to address the family system's emerging conflicts and looking at the idea that the absent father figure is a problem for Japanese society. One of the works produced addressing parenthood and class conflict is Like Father, Like Son by Hirokazu Koreeda. Like Father, Like Son is a 2013 drama film that focuses on demystifying a father's role in the Japanese family context by contrasting two Japanese families. In the film, Ryota, one of the fathers, is a hard working executive, disciplined, and almost a workaholic. He and his wife discover that the hospital nurse switched his six year old son at birth. The movie then switches to focus on the two families facing the switch of their kids. One family is considered upper class, speaking standard Japanese, while the other family comes from a low income class and speaks with an Osaka dialect. The contrast between the two father figures from the families exemplifies the class and fatherhood conflict that the movie will focus on. It raises the question of whether parenthood is explained by blood or the time a parent spends with the children. It also focuses on showing the different figures of parenthood, of one being a warm and caring father while the other is a disciplinarian. Therefore, this audiovisual essay will explore the visual forms and the styles used by Koreda to demystify fatherhood in the film, like father, like son. These visual languages are analyzed to establish how they advance the theme of conflict between parenthood and class in the Japanese family context. Similarly, through visual style and techniques by the director, can see the concept of balancing individual freedom and social norms. Koreeda utilizes his instincts, keenness, and outdoor exclusiveness in selecting ideal compositions and settings for the interior shots. He uses eye catching locales and frames, distant shots, and melodramatic behavior to demystify thematic breeding of parenthood in Japanese family settings. Understanding thematically, Koreeda's film, using visual forms and styles, provides an insight into Japanese patriarchal demands that conflict with the changing social culture aspects of the modern Japanese family system. Koreeda presents a series of careful and beautiful set scenes to explore the nature of parent love, particularly filial love, that is, 
the affectionate love between the child and the parent. Yoda holds to an arguable fake Nobel stance by insisting that money doesn't matter, and that they have to come up with the best plan for the kids, which depicts his love for the child as a parent. The scene in the hospital hallway shows a group of three: a man, a woman, and a boy. Moving near a sunlit window with their hand drawing, the boy in the middle, who is seemingly framed by the two adults, the boy is skipping periodically while dancing a step, and the parents lift him together, a dancing, walking game made of the three characters. This can be demystified as a game where two individuals, which are both parents, are stronger and appear to be lifting the weaker one, which is the child, in unison. The middle small one is lifted strongly to leave the ground, walking between the parents and asking to be lifted. Is rallying for the child, and also seems to create an element of unison between the parents. Such engagement of parents, which the children demonstrate a scene of joy, love, freedom, security, and parenthood. Koreeda uses his striking trademarks of long shots to show extraordinary acting, the musical pacing, and symmetrical framing, including the shifts between the long shots. The director employs long shots to show instances where people and objects look tiny and gigantic. This visual language is also used to generate suspense, particularly when transitioning from huge to tiny objects. Every scene of Like Father, Like Son leaves a tang of emotion that is discernible, particularly in the effective use of light touch that displays melodramatic behavior, which draws the attention of the audience. The director uses simple motifs of studio formula that the audience can discern a sense of tear and smile. For instance, the images stored in a photo card of a camera showing affectionate scenes of picture taking, and on the other hand, the hearkening back. These imply the alternating experiences of loving family life and the hearkening back of the class. Also, the slow parting of Midori with Keita shows a sense of agony, wrenching and flowing tears while packing his items. On the other hand, Ryota seems to be in a certain progress of becoming a better man and a father. Ryota can be described as having a handsome face and a famous smile. These imply the attenuating experiences of affection in family life and the hearkening back of the social class. Director also shows an outstanding image of the elementary school spiral staircase, followed by an overhead shot showing the Nonomi family staircase. There are also elevators showing the main character Yuda using this to climb up and down. The numerous user of the staircase show different line shot that create a whirlpool scene of the spiral image. The spiral image created by numerous staircase and elevators demystify a change and journey of life as the events unfold, taking a path that leads to the source. These visual languages represent the nature of changing family contexts, and its expansion outwardly as the social culture expects change. It shows the transformation of the traditional Japanese family towards modern Japanese society. In the apartment where the family of Nonomiya lives, Yota's exterior shots are present to show him entering the house after work. The scene conveys the unique architecture used by the director. The building demystified the nuclear family, which is the ideal for the traditional Japanese family. The director seems to be drawing the contracts between the two families, and that the building of Yuda appears as a unbearable place to live. Even the characters from the film know that the apartment is an unbearable place to live. When the kid you die, his father Rusei and Midori's mom mention that the apartment looks more like a hotel. The picture shows that they are separate from the ground floor, and no friends or family visit them, which implies existing antagonism or conflict. Also, there is an impressive recurring image of the city lights captured as a reflection on the shots taken during the night, as the family plays together in the apartment. 
These shots appear as shooting stars and present a dreamlike experience. However, this is contrasted by the photos of two voices standing next to each other on a coffee table, with one inverted such as they face opposite directions. The family is a scenario playing together and the two boys' photos on the coffee table show the conflict between the parenthood and class. Further, Kolida used the camera shot with hashed tone to demonstrate parenthood in a low-class family. This makes a significant aesthetic accomplishment to the audience in demonstrating a portrait of the two families and the different assumptions on gender and social class. The scene where the two fathers discuss the parenting style and a father should have is a significant example in the movie to portray the gender and class difference between the families as the individual freedom versus the social norms imposed on the characters. The film shows detailed food shots, such as the overhead view of meat frying in Nonomiya's kitchen. The meat seems to be expensive and high quality to the viewer. The director's intention seems to be reflecting the contrast of the low-income family eating dumplings. They all have to share an eat from the same plate. In the contrasting scene, Yukari, the mother, tells Keita he should eat or else the food is gone, since they are eating from the same plate. These shots create gaps between the two families. Two contrasting scenes reflect the difference in the social classes of the two families as the parenthood style. The Saiki family all take a bath together and both mother and father take care of dressing the kids. In contrast, the Nonomiya family has the kids showering by themselves as the way of teaching them to be independent. The mother is the only one in charge of dressing the kid, while the father only looks from afar. Likewise, when the movie introduced the second family, audience can notice the social class difference when the families approach their cars. Yuda drives a luxury sedan while Yudai drives a lightweight minivan. Although the film story is intended to cover one nuclear family, the parenthood and class conflict that emerge reflects the two different families with one father having parenting issue. In conclusion, the film's composition and setting by Koreeda show keenness and exclusiveness in utilizing every audiovisual figure to deliver the meaning. The director uses eye-catching locals and frames, distant shots and melodramatic behavior to demystify thematic readings on the film. Like Father Like Son contains both interior and exterior long and short camera shots as visual images and melodramatic and hushed tone as audio forms to demonstrate parenthood in the Japanese family context. The film raises the concern about whether parenthood is assumed by blood or the time a parent spends with the children, and this concept is explored throughout the film. Although the film is intended to convey one nuclear family, the director's audiovisual style and techniques reflect a class conflict in the two families. The conflict creates a class gap between the two different families, with one father having parenting issues. Thank you.